Hi guys, my name is Gina James Cole and welcome to episode, what are we on? Episode five, six? I so don't have a clue what we're on. Welcome to this episode of Mean Girls Sorority Rush. Let's go ahead and get started with this episode. We're at the party and what happened? We're supposed to be cleaning up, aren't we? But the boys have come to help us. Let's see what happens. Here's Tamara. We don't like Tamara. Let me know down in the comments if you like Tamara. I'm, just, I'm not a fan. Definitely not a fan of this girl. Uh, 12 girls stand before me, but not all of you will continue to the next round. Oh my goodness, of course, that was what was happening. She was cutting two people today. Completely forgot about that. Oh my goodness, how could I have done? On your path to becoming Delta Mutau sisters. Janice. Oh, is Janice being cut? I'm not going to lie. I thought you were going to have a major bad attitude. Oh no, maybe she's not being cut. But you really pulled your weight tonight. And if there's one thing I respect, it's a hard worker. You are safe. Yay, Dennis is safe. Gretchen, none of these are gonna get cut, surely. You're safe, the rest is not worth remarking on. Oh my God, thank you. I live up to the potential you'll see, you see in me. Hmm, I think it's gonna be that girl with the, the, um, the earrings. Regina, your frozen drinks were outstanding and even after all that clean up, you're still chipper, poised and polished. Oh, I just wanted to help my sisters. She's such a cow. I hope Borsha doesn't get caught. You're safe. I like Borsha. Look at that frozen swan. Ice swan thing. Oh dear. It's not gonna be us, it can't be us. Brianna, step forward. Brianna, this is the end of the line for you. Oh, I think I liked her. Please see yourself out. She the braid, yeah, with the braid. I mean, she's got such a nice braid in her hair. Oh well, never mind. What, what, but, but nothing. A true Delta Moot House is to handle rejection with grace and poise. That outburst proves that I've made the right decision. Bye. Oh, she's so sad. See her, that's who I thought. Oh no, maybe it's not. The one on the left I thought was going to get cut. Uh oh. Doom, doom, doom. It's down to Greenoid and Molly. Who's Molly? Oh. I've never seen her before. <laughs> maybe I'm not Delta Moo material, Delta Moo Tower material after all. Greenoid? You're smart and a hard worker, but I wasn't sure if you were outgoing enough to be a Delta Moot Hour sister. However, you got the boys to bring cupcakes for us, so clearly you made some friends on the cake walk. Tamara, I just want to remind you, I didn't eat a cupcake. I only smelled them. <laughs> Sorry, keep going. Greenoid, you're safe. Yay! Of course we are. Oh no, that means Molly. Oh, poor Molly. Molly, your time here is over. Bye. Oh, this is so nasty. I don't like this. Well, the girl with the earrings stayed. Don't get too comfortable yet. We've got two more events to go, which means four more girls to cut. Regina's always like frowning. Look at her in the background there behind me. She's always got this like nasty look on her face, frowning evil, like she's plotting nasty things. She probably is. Uh, finish cleaning up as quietly as possible. The sisters are upstairs sleeping. Oh well, they're the ones that are left. Oh god, I look really miserable there. I don't know why. Oh god, we've got to clean up. I hate to say it, but I think Medina might know what she's talking about. She said that Molly and Brianna will be the first to get cut. Don't read into it too much. Remember, she's a psychopath, not a psychic. <laughs> You're right, it's just so easy to get caught up in all the Regina drama. I should be channeling this energy into studying for the history of theatre quiz. Balancing rush with everything else is getting hard. Isn't it though? Oh, here she comes. Gosh, and you have a boyfriend too, don't you? Sounds like your plate is just super full. Do you have a point? You're using your fake nice voice, Regina. 
excuse you, this is my regular voice. It's your fake nice voice. It is not my fake nice voice. I'm just saying, schoolwork, rush, and a steady boyfriend. I really hope you don't end up falling totally flat on your face and screwing up your life. That'd be awful. Love ya, great job tonight. Why does she keep blowing these kisses? That's driving me insane. It's the next morning. History of theatre. You ready for this quiz? You ready for this quiz? I was so exhausted, I fell asleep on my notes. Oh dear. I don't think we're ready for it. Oh, look at him. I like his top. <laughs> Good morning, students. Today we assess your progress of un in under your. Let's start again. Today we assess your progress in understanding the art of theatre. Good luck. Hmm. Oh, here's Mika. I feel like we haven't seen, really seen Mika. Oh, no, no, we're so sad. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, I was waiting for my gorgeous Brainiac girlfriend to get out of her quiz. Seen her? Don't know about the Brainiac part. I'm pretty sure I tanked that quiz. I was up until sunrise cleaning the sorority house. Well, at least she's still gorgeous. <laughs> Aw. So sweet. It's one quiz. You'll kill it next time. I hope so. Hey, come on. You're being way too hard on yourself. Well, maybe that's what I need. No, it's not. What you need, Greenoid, is a pick-me-up. I'm going to take you out for a romantic lunch. Oh, that's nice. I feel like we haven't had much time for each other lately. So it'll be great. Ah! Go on a date with Mika. Go back to your dorm. Actually, you guys have said that I should buy some gems. Hmm. Right, next ep in between, now and next episode, I'm definitely gonna buy some gems. I promise. Don't hold me to that because I probably will forget and then I'll start and then I won't. Yeah, I will. I'll buy some gems in between episodes. Right, go back to your dorm. I'd love to, but I should really go back to my dorm and rest. The next sorority event starts at five. Another rush event. They're trying to test our muster, apparently. Do you think you'll be free by 7.30? Definitely. Why? I need a scene partner for my film school audition. It's much easier to find emotional authenticity with someone I've worked with before. I'd love to. Awesome. Meet me in front of the film school building at 7.20. We're not going to get to meet him, are we? That's going to go horribly wrong. I like her. I see her quite a lot with the pink. She was at the party. She's like always completely head to toe in pink. Ooh, look, there's Borsha. I do like her. I don't know why. Uh, did I miss anything good? The princesses were about to grace the pre peasants. <laughs> Time to turn on my recorder. I thought it was wise investment for my article. Ooh. Okay, ladies, it's time for one of my very favourite events of Rush, and one of the most important in helping us evaluate the way you present yourself, the annual Delta Mu Tau charity auction. And this year, the girl with the highest bid gets to pick the charity we donate to. What would you pick? Oh, um, a high school arts programme, an animal shelter, a soup kitchen. Hmm. Let's go with an animal shelter. The animal shelter near the school. What's better than saving puppies? Saving kids. Oh, I was going to say exactly that same thing. Saving kittens. But I agree, in principle. What kind of things are we going to auction? Not things. We're auctioning you. Wait, what? That's right. We're auctioning off dates with you. For charity, guys. I'm excited to see how much cash you girls can rake in. Ooh, fun. Oh, you've got to be kidding. <laughs> yeah, this is weird. But it'll be incredible for my story. I have on good authority that Delta Mu Tau voted to stop the charity auction last year. But looks like Tamara brought it back. You've already gotten an inside source for your tell-all article. I found my calling, Green-Eyed. <laughs> Listen up, ladies. One more thing to note. The two girls with the lowest bids are getting the axe tonight. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, don't panic, Gretch. There's totally time for a blowout and a mani-pedi facial. Oh no, oh no, she's gone. 
She dropped. <laughs> Green eyed, you might want to go to the salon with Gretchen when she wakes up. Your skin's looking a little, you know. I really don't know. Oh, maybe it's just the lighting. Don't you have to go shower in the blood of the innocent <laughs> as part of your beautification routine? Please, I'm about to set the sorority record for the highest bid. I could show up in a garbage bag and break the bank. She's a bit full of herself, isn't she? Which means the money is going to my favourite charity, which is giving makeovers to the less fortunate. I'll put your names on the list on the waiting list. That kiss drives me insane. I think that's gonna be the end. Is that the end? Yes, so we go. That is the end. Oh, episode five we were at. That's what we've just done, episode five. So I think next episode we're gonna have this charity um event. And I am going to go and buy some gems now. I will remember. I will go and do it. But thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye.